Oh, wait a minute. That's not Benzo. That's Benzo. <laughs> Alright boys and girls, what's good? I have purchased a post-2000 Honda. I always said I wouldn't do it. This came up on Facebook Marketplace. It was way too cheap and clean for like what the cost was. I've already touched it. This video today, I'm going to try and clean out the interior a little bit. Change the key fob, fix a couple little things. And help a little. So, here we go. This is Benzo, the Honda Accord Euro 2006 model, luxury edition, has the full leather interior, black, uh, the air conditioning isn't working, apparently needs a regas, the head unit that was in the car was stuffed, I've already replaced that with a $40 job, just because, fuck it, why not? Of course, the air conditioning controls on this head unit do not work. So, uh, I got a refund. As you can see, the paint and the uh, clear coat, done. Uh, looks trashy, I don't mind it. I've already put one of these on, and I got the front visor. Managed to get both of those for a hundred bucks. Still waiting for the correct visors here because I bought some on eBay and they sent me the wrong ones. I also have acquired a boot for Benzo. Previous owner clearly smacked one of those lovely yellow poles at the uh, shops. The bumper has been pushed in and it's reflexed back. You can see here, uh, the paint's a bit meh. So, not too concerned about that. After all, uh, this is basically just a parts car for the manual K24A3 for Edna. All right, so before I start cleaning the interior, I really need to get these wheels out of the car, like this. So as you can see, wheels are out of the back of the car, just my Pokemon bag and walking stick for my clients. Uh, like it's not minty fresh and it's not um, desolate. There's a couple of little wear, wear and tears in the seats and you know, the leather looks a bit dehydrated. But uh, I'm gonna have a crack at these floor mats and the carpet, because honestly, that looks like absolute poo. And uh, speaking of poo, I'm gonna use some toilet brushes. So I'm gonna get this out of the car and get this show on the road. Let's go. Here you go, you can have a bit of before. It's absolutely filth. So, let's see how much I can actually get this cleaned up. And here's a bit of after. Still a few uh, hairs and crap around. Floor mat's not 100% the best looking, but yeah, that's a little bit better. I've given it a bit of a vacuum. No time to uh, Give this dash some love, give these seats some leather cleaner. Let's go. As you can see, the door trims have uh, got a bit of wear and tear on them. I'm gonna see how we go cleaning it. All right, this actually cleaned up nicely. Still a little wear and tears, but a crap all here and all that crap here was all over the joint. Still got a little bit of it going on here. Door trim's come out very nicely. Time to finish this up. Leather looks a little bit nicer with the leather wipe. I'm happy with this. Whilst I'm on the topic of Edna, I know there's like a whole bunch of shit on the car and that's a sin, but to be honest with you, the car's already got hail dents and shit, so what's that gonna do? The interior do-over that I'm doing at the moment. Yes, it is a mess right now. We'll get to that. One of the most common and problematic things for the Accord Euros the bust is the central locking. And when that's stuffed, you can barely get your key in there. You gotta wiggle and jiggle and stuff like that. That ain't fun. So let's fix that up real quick. So I've already put a bit of graphite powder in there. 
gonna put a bit of ink spray in there. Just get a good spray in the keyhole. Okay, so before putting the spray in, I could barely get the key in, which was really frustrating because you know, gotta leave the car unlocked. Someone's gonna pinch the car. Uh -uh. Bit of graphite powder. If that's not doing it, use a bit of an spray. Yeah. So I'm giving the door a bit of a clean, bit of rag with grandma's undies. Well, now that I've rectified the mechanical part of the central locking not working, it's time to replace this. Really easy. One screw, clip, 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 replace battery, clip, 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 screw back in, done. Just for some of us playing at home, the battery is a CR1616. You need a good little screwdriver and you need your key. Let's go. So, as you can see, that screw comes out. This comes off clip, this comes off clip. Gotta unclip it a little to get your battery. So, let's go again. All right, so it's unclipped. Now we've got the battery. As you can see, CR1616. So, gonna replace that real quick. All right, so as you can see, the energizer's in, the old one's out. So we are good to put it back together. Ready? And it's working. Beautiful. The interior is nice and clean. Not terrible. Not a really high quality detail going on here. Just, you know, a bit of a vacuum and a bit of a wipe. A bit of an introduction of the car. This uh, has been really good to drive. Uh, eh, it's a bit sluggish. I know I could reflash. I don't want to reflash. Been getting on average out of a 55 litre tank. Seven to eight hundred kilometers. Uh, did a drive yesterday to Nara. It's about three and a half hours each way. Got back home and I'd done about 750 kilometers and still had close to a quarter of a tank. So Benzo is really doing some good stuff here. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, it's importantly, be good to yourself and each other around you. Much love and peace. See ya.